for my questions, let's go to the audience. He uh, got three. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, if you have a question, if you'd raise your hand, but I ask one thing is just wait until one of our staff members that are in each of these aisles finds you with a microphone and then you can introduce yourself and ask your question. And we will start with right over here. Be nice. Uh, yes, uh, my question is, we're getting a lot of people who are trying to get rid of the Obamacare program, and they're asking for funds and whatever. What are your thoughts? Can Obamacare be stopped at this point? Well, that's a good question. Um, I run one of the groups that most successfully litigated against Obamacare until it got to the Supreme Court and Roberts did what he did. And by the way, as, as a footnote to this, we're now told there's no recourse, it's the law of the land, and that's that. No, that's tyranny. And if the people don't want Obamacare, it should be imposed on us by, it, by when the Democrats controlled the House and the Senate by a supermajority and they had the presidency, so that means that's it for the rest of time, we can never get rid of it. And this is the mentality that, that, that is preached to us quite frankly, by both parties. You've got a few solid men and women who are standing up and saying, defund this and fight it now, and the others saying, no, 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 we'll wait till next week. No, 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 we'll wait till the debt ceiling. No, 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 we'll wait. It's being implemented. There's no waiting. So, no, I don't. Because, I'm just being very blunt with you, because the Republican leadership does not want to get rid of it. Because they are not even putting up a fight. And they're beating up on guys like Ted Cruz who are trying to put up a fight. And it's disgusting. And in the House, same thing. Now I think we might, let me amend that, I think we might have a shot at it if we had a solid conservative president in the next cycle in both houses to lead these French Republicans in the House and the Senate to victory <laughs> so they can see what victory looks like. But that might be the last shot. You're not going to get it. You know, we might win some, some side issues in the Supreme Court. We may win a big issue on religious liberty in the Supreme Court, but uh, I don't know. But I, I, I don't see any avenue to get rid of it unless a solid conservative is elected president and leads a Republican House and Senate to do it. You know, a Reagan-esque type thing. But after the next cycle, it's, it's in. I, I, I mean, there are fringes, but it's in.